Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am putting this up a couple days later than I hoped, but I'm it's getting up there, so I'm counting it as a huge win. <laughs> I am currently working on my July reflections and my August budget. As I shared with you guys last month, a huge goal is to save $55,000 in a year which still feels daunting every single time I think about it. And to be fair, that's because it is. That's saving one of our complete take-home salaries. Now, for July, my main focus was on this one specific goal. As you may remember, I had a few others that I will touch on in a minute, but I wanna share with you the big win first. So for the month of July, we managed to save $3,285.53. So for our debt payments, we paid just what we owed on our three debts. So $480.08 went towards my car payment. $74.91 went towards paying off my computer. And $230.53 went towards paying off my son's surgery. Now for the extras, for our savings, instead of money leaving us, we put $2,318.70 into our emergency fund, which then brought us back up to having a one month emergency fund so I can cross that off my list. And then we had a little bit left over. So I put $181.31 into my IRA for July. I am incredibly proud that we were able to do that. It was a really tough month. What helped a lot, I'm sure you saw in my previous video, was our grocery bill. Out of pocket, I think I spent under $200. I'd have to go back and check, but that was pretty much feeding us. We did eat out a little bit because we were traveling, but we did really well sticking to our budgets. So a big way that I feel like we're going to accomplish our goal is by the fact that we're going to live off one person's paycheck. So that way the other person's paycheck can go strictly towards our retirement, to our sinking funds, to our emergency fund, and all of those other financial goals that we have. So let's jump into how I'm figuring out our August budget. So now that my husband has been in his job for about six weeks now, we have a really good idea about what his checks should continue to look like. Now he will get some bonuses, potentially some overtime, things like that down the line. But for now, bare bones, this is what we got. <laughs> so he is paid every two weeks, just like me, except we're on opposite pay weeks, which is kind of nice because every week that means there's a check coming into our bank account. So these are the two days that he'll be getting paid. He should bring in about $4,000 and then I include side hustles. I've been watching Dogs on Rover for I think like four or five years now in my area. So I know at least I'm making $500 a month. So far for August, I've had two bookings. So I know that's 144 take home. So I only need 356 left to meet my goal. We're just in the beginning of August, so I'm very confident I should get more bookings. So with our fixed expenses, we have our mortgage is $1,664.44. And then we have our gas and utility. Our cell phone and internet is all wrapped into one. That's a little under $160. Our water bill tends to be between 100 and 120. So I just budget 115 to be safe. My gym membership includes my membership plus I pay an extra $10 a month for their childcare services. We do pay someone to cut our lawn. Now you may be thinking you're trying to do this extreme financial thing. Why are you spending money on someone to come and mow your lawn? In April, I hurt my back. I just found out a few weeks ago, I actually have two herniated discs. So me pushing a lawn mower for an hour, two hours, once a week, it's just not feasible. So we do pay someone, um, a company, to come out and take care of that for us. My child's like before and after school comes out to about $150 a month. I did sign up for personal training. That's $120 a month. And my son's surgery payment is $190.53 a month. My variable expenses, I just have a few categories. 
because I encompass a lot into these. Car gas, I think I'll fill up maybe once a week with my car, and then I do drive my husband's a couple times a month just to make sure everything's running smoothly. So his might get filled up once a month depending on how much I use it. So our grocery and household budget is $500. This is food, this is do we need toilet paper, this is do I need litter, do we need dog food? It all goes into that one category. I budget about $50 for myself. So if I need new skincare, if I wanna, like this month, I'm gonna go get this haircut because it's, it's way too long. That's coming out of that budget. And then I do put in a buffer for eating out. It's just me. So if it's a Friday, I'm exhausted and I wanna order a pizza, that is built into my budget. And then for the second half of the month, we only have a few more bills coming out. I have my dog on Bainfield's plan, so that is about $57 a month. Our electric can range anywhere from about 200 to 300. Right now, since it hasn't been too hot, I think it'll be about 230. Um, for our security system, a little over $52. My car payment is $480.08. I cannot wait to get rid of that. And then I am paying off a laptop. So I do move over my variable expenses, but how I'll do it, if there's anything left from like this 180, I kind of equal those out and then I'll put whatever that difference is on this side now. So I can now track it. Okay, this is what I have left. How am I doing with it? And then in the bottom here, I have kind of like kind of our sinking funds or what things we have to do every month. So obviously I'm a contractor for Rover. I set aside 30% into one of my ally buckets for taxes. So that is just automatically calculated here. So for our car insurance, it's roughly $85 a month. I pay six months at a time. So this gets set aside into a bucket. It is that low because it is wrapped into our homeowner's policy, but it's paid separately. So I just set that money aside. So when my premium comes up, it's there for me to pay. And then every January we owe our HOA, I think it's about $400. So I just put a little bit aside every month. So when January rolls around, cause it's right after the holidays, that money is already set aside to pay that bill. So again, for August, our big goal, financial has to be at the forefront cause it's such a big, number. I don't think it's ever going to stop feeling like such a big number. But this month is a three check month for me. So if we can stick to just living off my husband's income, we'll have three of my checks going towards my IRA, hopefully be able to make some big progress. No big sudden bills come up. I will share that update next month once I close out this budget. So I am going to wrap this up before I just keep rambling. But if you guys like this kind of content and want to support my journey, I would love if you would like this video and subscribe. I will be sharing more as to how we're doing with all these aspects of self-improvement. I really want to come out in this next year in a completely different situation. And I'm hoping that you guys want to follow along and cheer us on as we do. And if you have any big goals, please share them down below so we can all support each other. Um, but for now, I'll let you all go and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.